Hi guys, today I'm going to be sharing 10, nope, just kidding, um, 11 apps that you can use on your phone. These apps range from fun games to brain games to calm games, and then there are mildly stressful games that I found that you guys can play if you're interested. So the first app is Pop Tropica. This game defined my elementary school years and the islands are really fun to play. It requires logic and skill to be able to play the games because I feel like since elementary school, the islands have gotten a lot harder. <laughs> A lot of people are playing Animal Crossing now, but this game is the OG for me. For some reason, Pop Tropica reset all the islands I won when I was younger, but it's fine. Also, the mobile app were pretty well considering how much data the app holds. I like to play Pop Tropica with my siblings. We usually play the same island at the same time and compete to see who can finish it the fastest. And it's a lot of fun and yeah, Pop Tropica. I love this. Next is Sudoku. I really like Sudoku. Box puzzles and Sudoku are my favorite favorite brainy games to play. I think it's relaxing too and it has some pretty cool benefits according to research studies and Google. Sudoku can improve your memory, improve thinking skills, and promote brain cells. It also boosts but also can improve a person's concentration and it reduces the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Finally, it can make you happier which I don't know about the other benefits but I can attest to this one. Finishing a Sudoku puzzle is very satisfying and it doesn't make my brain hurt at all. Games like Doku aren't stressful and it's a classic game to play if you like it. It's not that hard either. The next app is Elevate. Elevate is another brain training game but it's more like school. <laughs> it can improve focus, speaking abilities, processing speed, memory, math skills, and more. I was playing a syntax game where you have to decide if a statement is logical or not and then I played a focus game. In the focus game, you're listening to someone tell a story and as the facts appear in the story that they're telling you have to drag the fact to the correct subject it was actually pretty hard for me even though i feel like i was trying to do well and pay attention which says a lot about my attention span and how trash it is i generally cannot focus as well when i try to read or listen to something for an extended period of time and i'm hoping that using this consistently will help that somewhat the internet and the instant gratification that comes with searching the web or watching youtube videos really killed my attention span plus when i watch youtube videos or dramas or anything like that I always speed them up. I usually don't watch things on normal speed and because of that, it makes it a lot harder to focus. Anyway, there's also a performance page on this app so you can track your performance and it's sort of satisfying to see that you're getting better. And even without the full version of the app, I still think it's useful and fun to play. Okay, so the next app. Don't clown me for this one, but the PBS Kids app is actually quite lovely. In this time where TV shows are so dramatic and have really dark themes, I find it very comforting and relaxing to rewatch old cartoons. Particularly, I like to watch Arthur. It's one of my favorite cartoons of all time. And also Clifford the Big Red Dog. I haven't really watched that for a long time, but I just re-listened to the theme song while filming this and it's so nice and cute. The drawings are so simple and pretty. I really really like it. Lately, I've been watching Curious George because the episodes are just so simple and so calm and so cute. It's kind of nice to watch something where the biggest issue is running out of maple syrup for your pancake. I think it's really sweet. So the next app is Lake. Lake is a coloring app but it's a lot more aesthetic um, than other coloring apps that I've tried and I like the brush that is for this app. It reminds me of a painter's brush where the color doesn't really fall even. Evenly. The color wheel on the bottom and the entire app is very pretty and sometimes nice messages will come up on the screen like in the morning I got a pop-up that said something like thank you for being here today or something like that. I think the app gives enough control when coloring that you feel like you're doing something that it's you doing the coloring but it also helps you not color ugly and stay inside the lines at the same time so I really like the smoothness of the app. So next is Melly. I really like this app i have been trying to meditate every morning but i don't want to use youtube for guided meditation anymore because then i get distracted so for this app you can change the breathing pattern so the person who's guiding the meditation can say breathe in hold breathe out and you can change how long this pattern will be you can also change the time of the meditation if you want to do one minute three minutes five minutes 120 minutes if you're into that i don't know you can change the little character you see on the screen by like the little panda so i'm gonna keep him and you can change the sound that you hear this can also be used just to focus or take a break but i personally think i'll be using it for meditation 
Rako, Rako, Okabe. I definitely didn't pronounce that correctly. Um, this game is just about sea otters. You leave a dish of food for them in the sea and sea otters will come and just chill and enjoy the food. It's really, really stinking cute. If you put different foods, apparently different sea otters will come and visit you and you can add them to your like collections. There's also a home element to this game. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do here but I just like to give my sea otter that's chilling in the hot tub more food and I'll check the mail and look at my to-do list. Looking at sea otters is fun. The next app is I Peel Good. This app is really funny. It's just peeling fruits. I never really liked the game Fruit Ninja which was really really popular when like the iPhone 3 I think was out because I was really bad at Fruit Ninja and I would always cut the bombs and then I lost immediately. But this game is really fun. It's just peeling fruit. Kitten Up is just a game where you jump up on each shelf-ish thing to save the kitten. You can unlock new kittens using a claw machine and I feel like this is a mildly stressful game. It's not really that hard. My Brother Ate My Pudding is a game where a girl's brother ate her pudding. So in every level, he's just trying to hide from her and she's chasing him to scold him, I guess. It's a logic game and you have to be creative with how you hide. So we're playing the role of the brother. It's kind of hard, not going to lie. There are a lot of things that I don't think of. And I used to play similar games like this too when I was younger, but it would be like escape school kind of game. But yeah, this is fun. So the last app I have to show you guys is Catbird. Catbird is such a cute game. Oh my gosh, it is probably the most aesthetic one on this list. I'm really not good at it though. <laughs> The graphics remind me of Metroid when it was like a Game Boy game, like the very overly pixelated game look to it. The pixelated art is really, really, really cute. Basically, our protagonist in this game is this cute little catbird, and he is just trying to get back to his home planet, which he has been kicked off of. It has levels that get increasingly harder, where the point is to get to a black hole at the end of the tunnel, and that is so he can navigate his way across the foreign planet and go back to his home. I'm really bad at games like this. This and this is the most stressful game on this list by far but it is so cute and the aesthetics make up for the frustration that you'll feel when playing it so yeah those are all of the apps i had to share with you today these are a lot of fun as you can tell i sort of when looking for nice apps they're all pretty childish and i just go for aesthetic but i hope that i was able to introduce a new app to you and you found one that you like i'll leave the links for all of these in the description so if you want to download them you can they're all free to download so let me know if you do end up downloading one of them and what you think of it and yeah that's it for today i'll see you guys next week or on wednesday maybe bye